Hello. It's a cloudy autumn Sunday in Beijing. Our group is in Fragrant Hill Park on Sunday, September 29th, 2013, our last full day in Beijing. We're finishing up two weeks of Qigong training with Master Wan Sujang at his institute in Beijing. Of course, the program includes plenty of sightseeing. Today, we're in Fragrant Hill Park in the northwest suburbs of Beijing. In royal times, this was an imperial garden. Now, of course, it's open to the public. And very much local Beijingers, Beijing residents and Chinese tourists from all over the country will come here. It's called Fragrant Hill Park because there's a peak within the park and when the clouds are hitting the top of the peak just right, it looks like a Chinese incense burner. So it's the, the clouds or the fragrance of the incense that's spreading across the whole park area. It's now a bit past noon. When we first arrived here, closer to 10.30, our group had a Qigong practice right across this pond in front of that pavilion led by Francesco Garapoli and Daisy Lee. Um, they have been our American contacts and trainers and introduced us to Master Juan. Francesco met Master Juan 20, about 20 years ago and lived at his institute off and on for two years as he studied and also toured around China. Daisy Lee is also very experienced in Qigong and has studied also with Master Wan and other Chinese masters for many years. This pond, uh, there's Chinese visitors enjoying the scenery. There's many musicians having brought their instruments and are playing the, the Chinese harp. I won't try to pronounce the name properly. Uh, along the lake shore just for their own enjoyment and for anyone who happens to sit down to enjoy it with them. The park has birds and butterflies. It's the fall. There's not a lot of local flowers, although there are some in flower beds. And our group has free time now. We're just enjoying the park. There are certain temples here. There's a, a cable car that goes up to the top of the hill. Um, I went up there on a previous trip, so I'm not going up the cable car today. There's a, a few, two different well-known Buddhist temples here on the property. And of course, in imperial times, places like this were kept up and built and improved by the royal family with their treasure and resources. Now, under the People's Republic of China, the old royal properties are maintained and opened to the public by the government. There's a hotel, on the, an international luxury class hotel, on the edge of the property. And there's a section with restaurants and gift, gift stores, souvenir shops. The main thing, though, for me has been the Qigong training. Also, with um, staff from Master Wan's Institute. Uh, we had five nights out of town in Hunan province and we went to certain mountain areas, um, Phoenix Town, rather Phoenix City, and Lotus Town. I won't attempt to mispronounce the Chinese names. And for the past six days I have not seen another Westerner, except the people in our group, except uh, in some advertising and on television commercials. We're very, we've very much been in areas that Chinese people go to as tourists and as religious pilgrims, at the Taoist temples, at the Buddhist temples, the sacred mountain peaks. Uh, we went up Zurong Peak in the Hengsheng, um, National Park area. 
And of course, we went shopping in the old town of Furong town, a riverbank area, saw the waterfall. I guess I could go on, um, and perhaps in another video I will, from another section of the park. I should mention that the most important thing about coming to China like this, aside from appreciating the culture and civilization, is to actually learn the Qi Kung, to actually learn the skills and the methods of bringing that healing strength into one's own body. So our group of 18 that traveled, uh, Francesco and Daisy, our, instructor, our American based instructors being two, and then 16 Americans of mixed interests, uh, actually not just only Americans, uh, we have some Australians and British and Canadians, some who are acupuncturists and Qigong instructors like myself, uh, some who are acupuncturists but don't happen to teach qi kung and some qi kung instructors with other fitness credentials also just people who are interested in their own health they have other professions they have other work but they want to learn the qi kung very authentically for themselves my purpose in coming here of course has been my own personal development my own personal healing and to learn these skills and abilities and bring them back and share them with the people in the United States, in my home area, Cape Ann, in Massachusetts, with the towns of primarily Gloucester and Rockport, and the surrounding area. So I'll now walk back to turn the camera off, and I think I'll move to another section of the park.